All right, it's park season, so I need to do some few changes. Bust out my drawer, my drawer of a uh, park stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, so here's my gloves. These are the Dirt Paws. I know people hate them, but I freaking love them. I got like three pairs of these bad boys. That's my work top. Um, all right, the new brakes. Uh, these are so hard to come by. And luckily, uh, somebody uh, told me where I could find them. So I got going to change those out. And so I am going to go with the 203 in the back. The problem is my adapter's not here. So I may be stuck. Well, I, I may gonna be stuck. I am going to be stuck with the, with the 180 in the back. Because uh, I am going tomorrow. And all right, so this is when I'm running in the front. Be running the, the XR5 2.6s, a little beefier than the than the 2.4s. Uh, great grip, so I'll probably run these probably at 22, 23 psi. Um, not too sure. It's my first time running the XR5s. Then the back this is the Enduro, the SE4. So it has the same tread pattern as the as an XR4, but just a little thicker casing for the Enduro casing. So I put that in the rear. Yeah, sure, I can go a 2.4, but I'm, ah, I don't know. I need a little beefier. So I am a little heavier, so these 2.6s end up being 3.0s. Get it? <laughs> All right, uh, and then I'm also going to change the, the middle link. So I'll show you guys that in my whole process. And I'm debating if I should wash my bike or not. Do you want to show up uh, to the bike park with a clean bike? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. We'll see. But anyways, my new combo for bike parks. All right, here's a trick that I learned. So I just popped them out and they were folded. I leave them in the back of the truck with the sun and let them bake for a little bit. And then they're easier to put on. Um, so I'll go through the process of of washing my bike and then when i'm done with that i'll be able to put them on they'll still have a little bit of soapy water on the rim so hopefully it'll be an easy slide if not i'll be riding some old stuff all right she's all ready so you got the the xr5s on it's a little different tread pattern still on the 2.6 it's pretty skinny there uh and then the back the se4 with the noble rim um, the only thing we didn't do for the bike park is we didn't change the middle link. So the other side is stripped. <laughs> so we'll revisit that later. So, uh, all right. Front shock. We're running, uh, 165 PSI. Um, and then also, uh, eight clicks of, uh, OTT. Um, and then in the rear, we're at, uh, 309. And then uh, 202 in the negative. So uh, I know it says 300 is the max, but uh, that's been working best. So we called DVO and they said that's that's okay to run. So that's actually my also my race uh, setup as well. Um, but in the front, uh, when we race, we're depends on the the course. Um, we'll run anywhere from one uh, 160 to 172. So. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm pretty excited. First one of the year. It just sucks. I'm using the, the 180 rotor. So I was hoping to get the 203 on there today, but no dice. But uh, it'll be the first time taking the, the Chris King and the Noble Rim um, out to the mountain. So I don't know the first day, because we're actually going uh, next weekend too. So I don't know if we're going to be launching it probably just uh trying to get my uh, sea legs in all right we'll see you on the mountain okay this is in my traveling uh, toolbox it's actually my wash box but uh <laughs> when i go to the bike park it's my toolbox all right got my chain whip valve stem remover this is the really funny part is it's my muck off uh <laughs> sealant but if you notice it's green so it's actually my slime that i put in there i don't know it just seems like a super cool uh bag to put stuff in i used to carry it in my uh, bag but uh, uh not anymore i actually carry something different anyways extra pad 
oh, I am missing something. So here's my uh, pro bike tool uh, torque wrench. Super cool. I'll link the uh, link in the video here somewhere. Uh, this is my grease. You know, once again, tell everybody, I'm like, if you guys find something better, let me know. I've been using this big tube forever. Um, got my uh, digital uh, uh, shock pump in there. Got my uh, park tool, six mil. Don't ask me why, but it's my favorite one. That's why it's all beat up. It's all beat up, but anyway, favorite one in there. Uh, this is an all-in-one hatchet, scissor, hammer. I don't know. I just threw it in there for some apparent reason. Um, uh, these are my levers if I need them. Uh, let's see what else I got in there. Oh, here's another. Never know. Never know. Never know. So uh, it's my cassette remover right here. Uh, put a link in there, too, if you guys need it. If it's the Park Tool, uh, shoots the one with the Dash 5 in it so the dash fire comes with a little extra nubby in there and uh you're gonna need it i didn't think you did but you do need it and what's the other thing in here oh just a super long wrench in here so that actually is able to get that uh uh this cassette remover and uh actually uh disc rotor remover too so this is the the bbt 69.2 um so yeah so all this is in my little bag so i carry this uh wherever i go normally i do keep the, the pro bike tool uh perk wrench in the car but uh i am not driving so don't tell anybody and uh i have some what else do i have in here have some, uh, I and last but not least at my top drawer got a valve stem and valve core in there and an extra cap in there i like the red because it matches a little accent um all right we'll settle up and we're heading out at 4 a.m pretty early <laughs> 